Hi and welcome back to Danielle's um, product reviews and unboxing site. Um, today I'm recommending um, a magazine called Witchcraft and Wicca which is run produced in conjunction with the Children of Athens. It's a twice yearly magazine which I think is a shame it's because it's got so much relevant material especially to a beginner like me I've learned so much from it and it's £3.50 an issue if you can find it in a local shop which I couldn't so I subscribed to it for two issues um, the two issues for the year for £10 including delivery I'm just going to show you a couple of my favourite articles so you can get an idea of what's in it it advertises a lot of witch fest um, events which I'll be attending I'll be filming these as well as uh, specials so you get an idea of what to expect at one of the witch fest events um, this in like I said it's running in conjunction with the children of Athens I'm signing up for this gold membership when you get uh, buy tickets for the price of one for any children of Athens or witch fest event and if they don't have the buy one get one free option you will get to get a, your tickets at a members price you get express entry to which fest international for gold card holders so you don't have to queue up and you get early entry one hour to camping area at the amethyst gathering so you got you can pick prime spot for your tent you receive two mag two ish copies of this magazine a year and an exclusive gold membership card which gives you 20 pound discount on all purchases above £10 on any Children of Athens stall at the events um, you also get a free black wrist, wrist fest silicone wristband it's only for, it, well it's £49 a, £49 a year which is quite expensive but if you're thinking of saying attending the camping for a three day event it's £60 a ticket and if there's two of you that'd be £120 because you're a member of the children of Athens, you'll only have to pay £60 for two tickets. This um, article on fire magic I found to be very interesting. It talks about fire magic in general, that it's the fire is the direction of the south, and its magical time is noon, and it's uh, the season of summer and that passion of fire brings about lust, passion, attraction, illumination, love, sex, some warmth, energy and inner power fire is a protective, protective energy and so pushes one to move forward as well as protecting and then trans, trans, transformative salamanders exist in the ephoretic world until they are summoned to this earthly existence in the form of a magic stick or a lighter uh, and they bring they are beings that decide if a volcano sleeps or erupts and can also strike at any time in the form of lightning and salamanders are lizard like in appearance and they exist in the candle of your flame uh, the first spell I ever did because obviously I'm a beginner and I'm sticking to very easy spells um, and trying not to go above my level of learning but the first spell I ever did is this one here, it's a very short spell which just involves a red candle and for you to say some words on some paper, uh, say some words and then uh, burn pieces of paper with um, things that you would like removed from your life and help with and then you just blow out the candle and ask for the protection of the salamander fire and say that you'll accept the new courage, strength and desire this was the first spell I ever did and like I said I got very positive results from this and you also find these adverts for um, exhibitions and things that people might in the Wiccan world might be interested in uh, there was an article on Egyptian magic, temple, professional and private practice, which I found very interesting, which was in the myth and legend section. And this, the ancient art of spellcraft, I found invaluable. I've come back to it many times. 
It explains the history of magic and spells, what a spell is. Um, how to use the right tools. It's got tips on uh, do's and don'ts of spell work as well as uh, telling you which type of moon is best for what type of magic. And then it explains which monthly full moons mean what. And also what days of the week are best to do certain types of magic. And then teaches you about magical directions and the elements, preparing your spell. Uh, creating a sacred space, determining the boundaries of your magic circle. Centering, ground, grounding and protecting and sealing the spell. And I said this for a beginner in magic was invaluable to me and I will keep it and keep going back to it for I think a long time to come. This was an article on practical magic by it's for independent witchcraft which is very relevant to me as a sorcery witch. It explains about the history of sorcery witchcraft and how you might find life as a sorcery witch. Another article uh, for the children of Athens, the largest witchcraft and wiccan organisation in Europe, uh, with advertising the magazine and some of its events. And then an article explaining about the lucifer.co.uk, which is a shop related to the children of Athens, where and you can buy handmade items. Um, it's definitely worth uh, looking at and looking into. There's a lot of adverts. Fray's Cauldron, which I, you'll see in one of my videos. I've already reviewed one of her boxes. Uh, it, show, um, it shows about a store and gives you a £10 discount code on her items. Which... I find very useful because I'll be buying her subscription box very soon. And then there's gatherings and news. Uh, sadly, there's no ga ga children of Athens gatherings in my, my area. The nearest one is in Stoke. Um, but then it talks about the major events. I'll be attending all of these. There's one on the 3rd of November, which is a witch, witch fest market and ball. Um, there's one on the 25th of May, which is Witchfest Midlands. Um, the 23rd to the 26th of August is a camping festival, the Athens Gathering. And on the 9th of November, Witchfest International, which is the largest witch event in the world. And it's held in London up until 2pm. And I've heard that there'll be six speakers and workshops every hour from 10am till 2am. And it gives you the opportunity to buy some back issues, which I'm interested in doing. And so as I found this magazine so valuable. And it ends with just a, an advert for the Witchfest mar Market and Halloween Ball. I'd definitely subscribe to this if you're, whether you're a beginner, a solitary, in, in a coven, or an expert. It's just an invaluable resource in your Wiccan collection. Uh, thank you for joining me and uh, joining in soon for um, unboxings and product reviews by Danielle. Um, goodbye.